Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's news video. We have a lot to go through. Most of it, however, we have covered in previous videos, so I won't be going fully in-depth with some of the things that we have already covered. I will bring it up when we get to those topics, but keep in mind, while we do have a lot to go through, some of it we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on. Also, if you're new to the series, we have a brand new feature that we are using in these videos. If you hover over the timeline of this video, you can actually see when I cover certain topics. So let's say you have already seen my video on Fazbear Fright number 6 Blackbird, and you just want to skip to the news about Security Breach, feel free to. But anyways, let's hop right into the FNAF news. So speaking of Fazbear Fright number 6 Blackbird, uh, it's a thing now. We have done a video previously on it, so I won't take up too much time here, but for those who haven't seen it, let's talk about it. So this is the cover for Fazbear Fright's book number 6 titled Blackbird. This is a brand new character that we have not seen in the entire franchise. Now while some people do have their theories, uh, you know, this could be the crow at the ending of the fourth closet, we really have no clue who this new character is. Also in the video that I covered on Blackbird, some people told me in the comments that in one of the previous stories in the Fazbear Fright series, there is a crow in one of the stories, so maybe this is the crow from that story, we really have no clue. It is also worth mentioning that the cover has been slightly changed since that video. The new cover has a more green text to Fazbear Freight's book number 6, Blackbird. It's really nothing too major, so let's keep moving on. Still on the topic of Fazbear Freight's uh, book number 8 and book number 9 have been confirmed. While they don't have any names, they have no descriptions, and they have no cover, they do have a release date. Book number 8 will release on May 4th, 2021, while the ninth book will release on July 6th. 2021. Hey boys, pop it in real quick because I talked about this later in the video, but I recorded this uh, yesterday on the 3rd, and I, I was crossing my fingers that no news was going to come out before I posted this today, uh, but that's obviously not going to be the case. So I'm going to make this one quick. I will pop in one more time later in the video, but bear with me. Alright, so the Turkish versions of FNAF the Silver Eyes and FNAF the Twisted Ones have gotten an update. Because I am not Turkish, I did not know about this, but apparently this is what the two covers looked like. As you can see, they look completely different from what they should look like. Especially the Twisted One, which uses a fan-made model of Withered Toy Freddy. How did this slip through? But recently, they have been fixed and they now look like this. As you can see, they look a whole lot better. They use the official uh, covers now with the official models, and it looks great. So again, I will pop in later on in the video to cover the FNAF 1 mobile port, which got an update recently, but I'll see you then. Moving on to the port's sister location was released on the PS4 in Europe. It was then also released in North America the following day, and then recently Click Team tweeted out that they will be releasing a patch for sister location on all platforms very shortly. Before this patch was announced, Click Team released a poll asking players if they wanted the controls of sister location to be changed, and while the winning response was no, keep the controls the way they are, it seems like they are doing the opposite. Because this patch includes adding an option to change the speed of your cursor control for both analogs, revamping certain parts of the custom night control scheme, and adding quick camera pan shortcuts to the D-pad. Clickteam said that they will inform us on more information about this patch once it gets closer to releasing. If you guys watch my series on sister location on the Switch, you guys know I am so excited for this update because the bad controls for Custom Night is the reason why I stopped doing that series, so hopefully they fixed it because I would love to come back to it. Hey, what's up boys? It's me, I'm back. Uh, yeah, so FNAF 1, the mobile port got an update and this is what it has to offer. It says, today we pushed a new update for Five Nights at Freddy's for Android and iOS. It includes the following. Option screen, which includes aspect ratio toggle, improved audio support, and various fixes and improvements. We look forward to providing more updates in the future. Stay tuned sincerely, Click Team. But yeah, that is the new update that should be rolling out today for Android and iOS. Click Team asks you to keep in mind that it may take 24 hours for the update to roll out, so if you don't have it just yet, just be patient. And now, back to myself in the past. Here we go. And now, a bit of YouTube news. Darko is releasing more songs. Who would have thought? So his next song, To Be Beautiful, is releasing on Saturday, August 8th. He released a preview of the song over on his YouTube channel, which 
to be fair, it's a lot longer than the previous preview, so I can't fit it all in this video, so I'll link it down below if you want to go check it out. As a warning, it does contain some blood and gore, so if you don't like watching that stuff, I suggest skipping that video. Some other Darko FNAF song news is that he is currently working on and is almost done with his next song after To Be Beautiful on Count The Ways. He released a preview of this song a couple days ago, and here it is. To little bitty pieces, or freeze you till your blood runs cold, or stab you till your heart stops pumping. I'm here to realize your wish from what I'm told. Like a genie in a bottle, you are trapped in here to play. So I just imagine Punch on Freddy singing I it. Offer, but either way, you'll end up choosing what I say. That's all I'm showing. So keep in mind that based off of what Darko said in that preview, that that is not the final version, that is not the voice actor that will be singing the song. He says just pretend that it's Funtime Freddy singing it, so it seems like maybe he will do some voicing of Funtime Freddy, or maybe he will hire someone else to do that. I personally don't think Scott would allow Kellen, the voice actor of Funtime Freddy, to do this song, but you never know, man. You know, Darko and Scott, they're pretty close. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. There's no release date for that song just yet, but I'm sure it'll be released maybe sometime in September. By the way, I will be doing reactions to all of the songs that he releases, so if you don't want to miss out on those, I suggest that you subscribe. And now moving on to Illumix slash FNAF AR news. It was confirmed by Kieran that yes, they are creating brand new technology for FNAF AR. Kieran did another Q&A on her Instagram, and this is what the question said. Are the new characters going to need some other AR technology like Shadow Bonnie? Kieran's response is yes, some are. We are building a lot of our own AR technology to enable lots of new interactions in AR. This is a massive undertaking and will be one of the first of its kind in history. So really exciting news for that. I don't think the character coming out this this month in August will have this new AR technology. Based upon the warning, it seems like they're still working on it currently, so maybe sometime later this year. Illumix also released a brand new wave of their FNAF AR merchandise recently. They teased it on July 31st with this tweet right here and then a couple days after that they dropped a video showcasing all of the brand new items which we did a video on link down below they also released a video on Twitter but it's kind of long it's not that long but it is still kind of long so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all of it in this video it might be edited up slightly so the new wave of merchandise is for the arcade madness event that FNAF AR had not too long ago the new merch includes t-shirts sweatshirts mugs posters stickers all that stuff if you want to go check it out go look at the store it's linked down below and again it's only limited supply and you only have four days to pre-order it and it's pre-order only but everything will ship out on August 24th now we move on to security breach. So we have done three videos on the topic, so I'm not going to take up too much of the time right now, but Scott has been constantly pumping out brand new voice actors for the game. Again, we've done three videos on it already, so they're linked down below. Go check them out if you have not seen them. Another thing going around recently is the release date of Security Breach and its teaser trailer. You guys remember the Trends calendar that leaked the prototype designs of some of the Glamrock characters? Well, that calendar actually released a couple days ago on August the 1st. There were a couple posts on the Reddit saying that yes, it did come out on August the 1st. However, when you go to check out and actually order the calendar, it says that it's all out of stock. So it seems like the calendar has been delayed to a later date. That date, we don't know. Because when you go to the Amazon page, it still says that the release date is August the 1st. Something that's even stranger, however, is when I was researching for this very topic, I came across Booktopia. And apparently, on this website, the calendar actually came out on July 15th. I really hope Scott and Stu will get on this very fast because, again, it's very confusing for people that are trying to look for possible release dates. But if we really want to know the release date, we might not have to wait too long. You see, I'm pretty sure everyone is in agreement that the trailer might release on August the 8th. 
Not only is it Five Nights at Freddy's sixth year anniversary, but it's also the one year anniversary of when we got the very first security breach teaser on ScottGames.com. Well, you see, it might not release on that day. It might release earlier than the 8th. Where am I going with this? Well, let's take a look at this tweet by PlayStation. Earlier today, as of the recording of this video, they made a tweet saying, State of Play returns Thursday at 1pm Pacific. What to expect? A focus on upcoming PS4 and PSVR games? A quick check-ins on third-party and indie games from June's PS5 showcase? No big PS5 announcements. Tune in details. So, if you guys remember, the very first teaser trailer we got for Help Wanted was in a PlayStation State of Play. It wasn't a whole lot, keep in mind. If you guys don't remember, basically all it was was the security cameras and then Freddy turned around. I think it gave us a few jump scares from Mangle, Nightmare Fredbear, and the puppet, and then it said coming soon. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But it all started in the State of Play. So could we get the teaser trailer or at least some teaser for Security Breach in the State of Play? It's, you know, it's possible. I think the timing of it is very well, too. Like, that's two days before the 8th. Two days before the anniversary. It fits perfectly. I think it does have a shot at getting in the state of play, uh, but I can't say for certain, so you're gonna have to tune in for that. I will be watching it. I will be recording just in case it does show up. And if it doesn't, oh well, we just gotta wait two more days. Hopefully. Oh my god. Can you imagine if they just don't release it? They, they kind of have to at this point, you know? Or at least a teaser, like a huge teaser or something. We need something. Anyways, the final thing I want to take a look at today is a brand new interview with Steel Wolf Studios. So I did a whole video on this very, very recently, uh, so I won't be going over the entire article. If you want to go take a look at that, link is in the description. However, I do want to hit on some of the main points. So this interview was done on Upload VR, and they interviewed the CEO of Steel Wolf Studios. They asked a few questions. Again, I'm not going to go over all of them. Watch the video if you want to see all of the questions. I just want to hit on the main ones that stick out. What is the time frame for bringing Curse of Dreadbear DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's VR to Quest? The CEO of Steel Wolf, Dayton, replies with, it is in the works, but we can't share any timelines yet. So they are working on it, but they don't have any details, they don't have any release dates for it just yet, because keep in mind, they have to do this for all of the consoles, and they still have to port the original game onto Xbox One. Are there any plans for additional DLC releases for FNAF VR? Unfortunately, we can't speak to future plans. Does this mean there's going to be more DLC for Help Wanted? We really have no clue. That would be awesome though. Christmas DLC? Maybe? I mean, they did tease it in the non-VR trailer, right? We all thought, oh my god, it's Christmas DLC, uh, along with the non-VR version of the game, but it was just the non-VR. I mean, we got a few holiday decorations, but it wasn't anything too big. Do you plan to continue supporting the non-Quest versions of FNAF VR? We will continue supporting all versions of Help Wanted. So this doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna keep pumping out updates on DLC, more content, stuff like that. It just means they're gonna keep releasing patches for the game, you know, bug fixes, all that stuff. Can you hint at what you're working on next after FNAF VR? We are working on the next Five Nights at Freddy's game. It is an ambitious project and will be the biggest title we have ever worked on. We also have a VR enterprise division that is working on a VR therapy application with a medical technology company. We all knew this, they're working on the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, but they're also working on Therapy VR, which I think is really cool. And then at the very end of the interview, it says this. Upon receiving the Q&A responses, we reached out for further clarification on the final answer regarding the new FNAF game. At this time, a company representative has told us that, quote, the new game mentioned is not confirmed for VR at this time. It feels like that was worded very carefully, but as of now, we're treating it as if it is not coming to VR, at least not yet. So there you have it. It is not a VR game, at least upon release. If you want my thoughts on this whole article and you want to see all the questions asked, again, the full video is linked down below. And that is that. I'm recording this currently on August the 3rd, so if anything major news-wise pops up before then, um, you know why it's not in the video. I'm planning on releasing this on the 4th, so hopefully nothing too major should come up, but you never know with FNAF. So that is all of the news. Again, I told you, it was going to be a lot. But thank you all so much for sticking with me. Again, all of the resources, everything that I ever talk about in these videos are always linked down below. So if you don't trust me, or if you just want to go exploring for yourself, 
it's all down there. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.